So just a quick little video here. Um, we have RepoSync uh, working on our SwimROM uh, Lollipop build that we're downloading. I just want to talk about what is going on behind the scenes here. So it's fetching projects, and we see that it's like 94% complete of that project. Um, receiving objects down there at the bottom, a lot going on. So what is actually happening? And what we see is, that is essentially like when we were using git from the command line, it was going out to get these um, repositories online and bring them down to your computer. And so it's going through the list of available projects. Let me scroll up through here. We can see uh, different ones that it's, that it's been working on. But it's going straight down the list and just downloading the next project, downloading the next project, downloading the next project for you so you don't have to do them one at a time. Obviously, like there's 523 projects that are getting downloaded uh, for SwimROM this time. And we see that where it's a fetching project 98%, 513 divided by 523. So if we go to our repo folder, what we see in here as soon as it loads here, there we go, is we have our manifest. And that, of course, is just a link to the, the default manifest in the manifest folder. Once that opens up for us, there we go. So default.xml, we can open that with uh, G edit or get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, there's our XML with all of our files. So it names some specific remotes like AOSP, which is the Android Google source.com. We remember that when we built Android open source project, when we built uh, Lollipop the first time. And then we see, you know, remotes like GitHub, and then uh, we see some default branches that are specified. So the remotes tell it different places that it's allowed to download from. And then it's going to start listing all of these um, project files. Now, all the project files, if it doesn't specify where it's from, it's going to use the default. So if, if like this first one says uh, remote GitHub, this first project line right here says build some wrong Android build remote GitHub. So that specifies that it wants the remote GitHub, but the one below that, that ABI CPP, has uh, no remote tag on it. And since it has no remote tag, it's going to use the default one. And so that's why you specify that default. So all of these are just lists of different uh, projects that it wants to go out and get, different repositories. Think of it that way. Project just means repository. So it's going to look up here in these remotes to see is that a valid remote? Is that a default place that it can go and get? Um, and then it, it goes out and gets that particular um, repository and downloads it. And you notice that you can specify the branch and that's what that revision, revision LP 5.1. Um, well, there, here's one of the default ones that I've got highlighted here. Um, running off the default, uh, here we got the next line is going to be a remote from GitHub and provision is LP 5.1. So that's all that's happening behind the scenes in that repo sync. And I just wanted to take a moment just to kind of dive into that a little bit more because I know that we glossed over it a little bit earlier in our um, explanation of what was going on. So uh, you can add your own things to the default if you want. However, um, the best way to do this is actually if you're going to add your own things is to make your own local manifest. And we looked at that, of course, earlier, and we're going to look at it again when we add a phone that's not in the system that we're trying to build. So we looked at it earlier for SlimROM when it added the... JF LTE TMO phone for us, the Samsung Galaxy S4. 
And that was one that was in its build list and it went ahead and added that to the local manifest. But we're actually gonna look at how we can do that ourselves to add um, one that's not in that list. So again, it's just going straight down this file one at a time and downloading all of that uh, information. So just wanted to take a moment to uh, touch on what's happening behind the scenes. 